Hey guys, it's Brenna. Uh, so this is really crazy. I am back on this channel in 2020 and I'm going to be talking about House of Anubis. So um, yes, it is 2020 and not 2012, I promise. So basically I got this really fun idea for this video from another YouTuber that I've been watching recently called Kate Loves Disney. I'll leave her information in the description box. She makes a lot of fun videos about Disney Channel and one of her series that she did was this Rip It or Ship It challenge uh, and she did it with Disney Channel characters. So basically what you do is you write down all these characters uh, put them in a bowl or a bag or whatever and you pick out two and you decide if you ship them or if you want to rip them. So I had a ton of fun watching her videos and instantly I was like, I need to do this for House of Anubis. Uh, I also just recently did a rewatch of House of Anubis for the first time. Honestly, probably since like 2014 was the last time I watched an episode. Season three, I don't even think I had watched since like it aired on TV. So uh, Anubis has just been on my mind recently and I've been kind of like reliving the memories because quarantine I've got nothing better to do and it's been really fun so yeah I thought because I pretty much ship like everyone on this show like there are so few characters I don't ship on House of Anubis I thought this would be a really fun challenge to do with these characters so I've got my mug it says Joy which I thought was fitting and I wrote down tons of characters obviously like the main Anubis kids um, we got the Touchstone of Rock kids in here a couple like minor characters that pop up I originally put the teachers in here and some of the baddies, but then um, the first time I attempted to start shooting this video, I was just getting some real weird combinations. Ah, Joy Mercer. I love her. And then my second one is Evelyn Martin. Ooh. Okay, next we have Alfie Lewis and Rufus Zeno. <laughs> no, I can't do this one either. <laughs> It was all teacher-student pairings, and I was like, this is too much, I can't do this, so we took them out, and we're just gonna do students, just to make it easier. Um, and yeah, hopefully we get some fun ships in here. Alright, so... Starting with Joy Mercer, my girl. And Dexter Lloyd, so he's one of the Touchstone of Raw people. I don't think I could ship this. I think Dexter would probably annoy Joy. I don't think she could handle dating someone that much younger than her. Yeah, I don't think it would work out. Um, maybe my only like slight thing is I feel like Dexter was supposed to kind of like foil Fabian a little bit and since she was so into Fabian like maybe they'd hit it off and she'd kind of like find that part of him that she liked but I think they probably wouldn't work. I think she would be too annoyed so rip it. Admit it ladies you can't resist me. Okay next we have Alfie Lewis. And Willow Jenks, oh, obviously, we love Wealthy. Yeah, I mean, they're canon, so, and Endgame, pretty much. So yeah, oh god, they're so cute. I'm really glad that Alfie got to find someone that was so good for him, like Willow. As much as I loved Amber and Alfie's relationship, I really enjoyed Alfie and Willow's kind of coming together, and I do wish we got to see a little bit of, uh, more of them in season three, but yeah, ship that so hard. They're so cute. But, you know, I, I really, really like spending time with you, yeah? It's just so much more uncomplicated. <laughs> Alright, next we have Poppy Clark. So that's Jerome's little sister. And Cassie Tate. So she's another one of the Touchstone of Raw kids. So they're probably around the same age. I, I might ship this. I don't know. They, like, I feel like they're both kind of ambitious and they both know what they want. And I feel like... I feel like they would challenge each other, and I think, I think they could be pretty cute. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd ship that. Here we have my brother, Jerome, sitting on his potty, age two. <laughs> Jerome crying on Santa's knee, age 11. Oh. And she will pretend to be interested. I'm very interested. Okay, KT Rush. And Mick Campbell. Ooh, Katie and Mick. I feel like people did ship them. I think that was a thing, like, especially because KT didn't have anyone in season three, and like Mick, in theory, didn't have anyone. And when Bobby did his like cameo in the background of the fireworks scene, they're like talking in the background. Um, I I think they could get along. Yeah, I think I think KT might see something in Mick, and like I think Mick might see similar qualities in KT that he did in Mara, and would kind of enjoy that side of her. And I don't know. Yeah, KT and Mick. I can, I can get behind that. I like you. I guess I always have. And I know my timing is like the worst in the world because I might not be at the school much longer. But do you want to be my girl?
Okay, so Giles, winner Freston. So he is a minor character that uh, appeared in the ping pong tournament episode. And Jerome Clark. Ooh, so they played ping pong against each other. Um, probably not. I don't think this would work. I think the competitiveness would clash and not in a good way. Because sometimes I feel like competitiveness like works and it you know brings people closer together and it's kind of flirty, but I, I don't think it would work for them. I think they would just butt heads and be angry about ping pong and Giles would be salty that Jerome beat him and it would just be bad so we're gonna rip that. <laughs> okay next we have Ben Reed and Aaron Blakewood. Okay so Aaron's one of the Touchstone of Raw kids. I yeah no I ship that. I feel like I don't really have a strong reason why I ship that or like an explanation because like we really don't get to see too much of Ben and too much of Aaron, but I feel like Ben would be really sweet to Aaron, and I don't know, there's just, I just have, I have a feeling, I just have a feeling they would work, so we're gonna ship it. Anyone you like? No. I mean, maybe. Next we have Patricia Williamson and Amber Millington. <laughs> I mean, realistically, I think they would like rip each other apart and it would go bad, but there's part of me that could see some like in an alternate universe, it being kind of cute because they're so opposite. Like Amber is kind of so happy and kind of clueless and so preppy and girly and Patricia is so like angry at the world most of the time and kind of more dark and edgy. And so that kind of like opposites attract thing, I don't know, maybe could work. So, but I think just like watching them interact on the show, probably not. So like probably gonna rip that, but like maybe yeah, I don't know. Things happen, so. <laughs> okay, uh, Mara Jaffrey. And Eddie Miller. Yes, okay. I mean, I definitely, like, friendship them so hard because they have that whole thing in season two where they're, like, trying to find the ghost. And I just really enjoyed their kind of relationship uh, as they were kind of trying to solve this mystery together. Like, this little tiny mystery that... Obviously it was a part of a much bigger mystery and they clearly got along well and worked well together. So like, mm -hmm. yeah, no, I'd, I'd, I'd ship them. No, yeah, they're cute. Are you sleepy? No. Next we have Piper Williamson. So that is Patricia's twin and Nina Martin. Hmm, maybe? Yeah, I don't know, because they're both kind of like sweet. And I feel like I'm now imagining this thing where like Piper's playing music and Nina's kind of interested in it. And then like Piper's showing off all of her like songs she plays and things she's composed and it gets kind of cute. And so I don't know, maybe I might ship it. I feel like in the right circumstances I could ship it. Okay, so we have Sophia who was from Touched on a Raw. And last one. Fabian Rudder. Mm, I feel like we were supposed to kind of ship them because Sophia was totally supposed to be like new Nina. Um, so like, yeah, I think I get to, I mean, okay, we also have to like, we're gonna forget about the part where Sophia is evil and not actually a student. Um, I guess that would be problematic. Um, but Sophia as like the first human that we meet, yeah, no, I think they'd be cute. They'd, uh, I mean, it would literally just be like Fabian Nina. It would be Fabina 2.0, they'd go solve Egyptian mysteries together and, you know, be shy and sweet with each other and then slowly fall in love and yeah, no, that could be cute. Um, but the cup is empty now, so those are all of my random ships that we've put together. Uh, I'm impressed that we only got one really canon ship out of all of that and uh, thankfully no siblings got put together because that would have been awkward. But yeah, leave me a comment if you agree with my opinions, if you think you would have shipped any of those people that I didn't ship, or like you were totally against any of the people that I said I might ship. Um, also, if you're bored like I am during this quarantine time, do this, it was really fun. So anyway, that's it for now. Uh, hit that subscribe button. If I do another one of these, it'll be on this channel. Um, but if you want to see any other content from me, I have another channel, it's just my name, Brenna Ann. I post a lot of like vlogs, mostly about life living in Disney World because that's what I do. I live and work at Disney World. So 
go check that out if you want more content from me. I'm also on Twitter, Instagram, so at this is Brian either way, or um, I have a House of Anubis Twitter that was from back in the day that I was using to live tweet when the shows were airing, and then I kind of like went back on it during my rewatch. So if you want to spill your thoughts about House of Anubis, I will probably happily reply to you. So that's at Brenna HOA. Um, but yeah, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you for reliving the early 2010s with me. It's been a good time. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Bye.